Hello my name is Sonali and I welcome you back to a new episode of Around the World a program which focuses on enhancing your understanding of global affairs and geopolitics Recently Egyptian president Abdel Fattah al-Sisi visited India apart from the political visit He was also the chief guest on the occasion of 74th Republic Day of India. Today our discussion will be on this topic. We will discuss what are the implications of his visit, what is the important milestone in this journey of friendship that has been going on since India's independence till today, in which this friendship is going to move from Nehru Nasser era to Modi Sisi era. Is India about to find a strong partner in Central Asia? Will Indian investment be able to get Egypt out of economic crisis? And also, whether India will be able to control OIC with its diplomatic strategy? These are the questions we can find answers to in LCC's journey. A blueprint can be drawn from the joint statements and mutual agreements of both the countries. But how did this friendship reach here and why Egypt having understood this we will be able to understand the recent context a little better Now let's talk a little more on Indo-Egyptian relations This was the period when the second world war had ended and the world had started dividing into two factions on the basis of ideologies communist Soviet Union and capitalist America The back of colonialism was broken and it was no longer possible for all the colonial powers including Britain to enslave their colonies. Where India got independence in 1947, Egypt remained under British rule till 1956. This hegemony was less direct and rigid in nature than India but Egypt was an important capital of Britain to protect Suez Canal and its economic interest. However, after independence in 1956, Egypt too began to see the world through Nehru's eyes. The newly independent countries were not ready to take the risk of becoming part of any group. National interest was paramount for them. Therefore, in the famous Bangdong Conference of 1955, it was discussed that a group should be formed to stay away from these two factions. With the important contributions of the then Indian Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru and Egyptian President Abdul Nasir after 6 years in 1961 the first summit of this group was organized in Belgrade Yugoslavia In this summit a total of 25 countries participated It was named Non Aligned Movement By the year 2018 a total of 120 countries had joined this india egypt initiative although india's ideological position kept changing over time and it kept on making harmony between the soviet union and america but even today this group works as a lighthouse for new countries after this historical development now let's see how is the relationship at present India's relations with Egypt have seen ups and downs but diplomatic and political dialogue between the two countries has continued at regular intervals. The Prime Minister of India and the President of Egypt continued to make ceremonial visits. But now when the time comes, India has once again looked towards its reliable partner from the Gulf countries. But why was it needed? In fact last year after the statement made by a leader of the ruling party of India on prophet Muhammad many muslim countries started increasing the pressure on India an allegation was leveled against India for being islamophobic and promoting hindu nationalism the countries that did so under the leadership of Qatar mainly included countries in the gulf and middle west asia But in the midst of all this, Egypt, being a Sunni Muslim majority country, officially did not issue any such briefing against the government of India, nor did it demand an apology or any kind of explanation. The government of India saw an opportunity in this disaster. 
India also included Egypt in the list of its friendly Gulf countries like Jordan, Saudi Arabia and UAE. International affairs expert C. Raja Mohan writes, the policy of stabilizing its neighborhood through political and security cooperation is a top priority in India's relations with Egypt. By strengthening friendship with Egypt, India has now improved relations with all the major Gulf countries. The strategic partnership between India and Egypt has opened the way for India's role in the entire region. With America's greater focus on the Indo-Pacific region, countries in the region now want to diversify their partner countries. With LCC's visit, India has not only opened its way to the Gulf countries, but also has won a strategic victory over the OIC's statements on Kashmir and other issues under pressure from Pakistan. Egypt is a member of the OIC, but apart from the core of the organization, under the leadership of al-Sisi, it is on the way to become a moderate Islamic state. Egypt is known for raising its voice in the Islamic world from the very beginning. Then whether it is about being banned from the Arab League in 1979 for the peace treaty with Israel or about being banned from the OIC in 2013. Simultaneously, India's strategy regarding the OIC has been evolving. Due to 10% Muslim population in India, there has been a continuous effort that India should get its share in this organization. In the year 2018, in the 45th session of foreign ministers of this organization, Bangladesh proposed to make India its observer. But this could not happen after Pakistan's opposition. The following year, however, India was invited as the guest of honor at the OIC foreign ministers meeting. But India's far-reaching goals could not be proved by that. Now India has got a strong partner in the form of Egypt along with other friendly Gulf nations who have the potential to support India in fulfilling its Central Asian aspirations. Apart from all this, during LCC's visit to India, political cooperation, defense and security, economic engagement, scientific and educational cooperation, cultural and people-to-people -people contacts were emphasized. Cooperation agreements were signed. It was assured that both the countries can achieve their interest by working together with each other. Egypt's economic condition may be critical, but Indian investment can change the situation in the long run. It will be interesting to see this new chapter in India-Egypt relations under the leadership of India. So that's all for this episode. Let's note down today's question. Discuss the importance of Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi's visit to India highlighting the various aspects. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.